Our blood normally flows easily through the vessels of our blood system. But a blockage can be catastrophic. Wake up in the morning, I had that heart pain. Went to the doctor that told me it was bronchitis. Then they sent me home, came back to the hospital. Um, that's when they told me that I was going through the heart attack and all of that, and they checked for me here. The, the biggest killers of people in the developed world in countries like the United States, heart attacks and, and also strokes. And at the end, in the, the acute heart attack, in most cases, is due to a blood clot that forms on a damaged blood vessel, the pipe that carries blood to the heart. And uh, this is underlying you know, most heart attacks and, and uh, the, the major cause of death in this country. A heart attack occurs every 20 seconds in the United States. A heart attack death every minute. You landed in the hospital here with something that we don't want Definitely. to have happen again, right? Not too many people who are 20 years old have heart attacks. So I'd clearly, it was great that you got to a doctor who understood what was going on and that you got treated. You have a couple of factors that are predisposing you to have blood clots the blood proteins that you have that prevent the blood from clotting are not present in the normal levels. We've made enormous strides in treating that disease, and much of it actually has been from the blood, from the hematology side, from preventing those blood clots from, from happening, or even dissolving those blood clots once they do occur. When I was training as a, as a hematology fellow about 20 years ago, more than 80% of the patients that presented with a stroke at a young age we're just chalked up to we don't know what. What we found subsequently is that most of these patients have one, if not multiple, small genetic changes that predisposes their blood to clot abnormally. And not only can we now identify what those changes are, but we can make predictions as to what type of anticoagulation is really best for them. And I think most importantly, be able to test their relatives to see whether or not they also have the same constellation of genetic events. The idea here is to have your brothers come in, have them go through the same kind of blood testing that you did, uh, just so that we can try and prevent any further blood clots in them and protect them as well.